For the past year, LSU has been dominant in just about every sport they compete in. The Tigers captured notable national championships in both women's basketball and baseball. On Sunday, the man who led the LSU baseball team to the top, Jay Johnson, will join legendary head coach Skip Bertman at the Beau Rivage in Biloxi. Our Matt DiGregorio reports. It's not every day that you get the opportunity to be around baseball royalty. This Sunday at the Beau Rivage, people from across the coast have the chance to meet one of college baseball's most legendary figures, five-time national champion head coach Skip Bertman. Earlier today, I caught up with the man who began the LSU baseball program from the bottom up. I had done a book about my life and journey, and I didn't want to do that again. What I wanted was a book that would explain you know, how the program began right through into the AD ship and picture me uh, and the coach and the AD. And that's what we did. We had a, uh, I think, a, a great book, well written. Berman will be signing copies of his book, Everything Matters in Baseball, from 6 to 8 p.m., alongside the winning pitcher of the 1997 National Championship game, Biloxi native Doug Thompson, as well as reigning national champion head coach, Jay Johnson. This place is special, and one of the reasons it's special is because of the ascent of LSU baseball to the top of uh, collegiate athletics, really. And that started with one person, and that was Skip Bertman. And if you look at modern day, um, you know, dynasties or dominance, those types of things, it's not really out there. He is, in my opinion, the greatest college baseball coach of all time, and Personally, like the best part of this job for me is the relationship that I now get to have with him. He is what we should all aspire to be a great human being, great leader, great developer of young people and a winner. And, um, you know, Coach Bertman is, like I said, in my opinion, the greatest college baseball coach of all time. Whether you're a diehard LSU fan or a young athlete aspiring to compete at the next level, the book is filled with stories, laughs and lessons, some of which Coach Bertman discussed with me earlier today. I could see early with no fans the year before, then 20,000, then 41, then 69. You could see it happening. Uh, we were winning, so to speak, and we went to Omaha, this place that nobody had ever been to, and the fans had a great time, and that added something. The trips to Omaha in 86, 87, when we didn't win, added something to the program. The chapter with his secrets uh, to success, that's where I spend 90% of my time, to be honest. Um, you know, I talked to my dad, who was a very successful coach uh, all the time, and he said I read it in like three days and uh, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I think just it gives you an appreciation for, or it gives me an appreciation for where I am at. And I, this is something I have never, nor will I ever take lightly. Matt DeGregorio reporting there. For more information on Sunday's event, you can head to our website, WLOX.com.